Hello, we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press, and he, we're here with... Uh, Matt Day. And Ned Castle. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, nice to meet you too. Nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, we have a couple questions. Great. Um, what did you learn making the film, and what should we, as audience members, learn by seeing it? Um, we learned a lot about ourselves and our, our preconceived ideas and expectations surrounding uh, you know people that have intellectual and developmental disabilities and I think learn to um, reflect and, and work hard to portray their stories accurately in a way that felt really good to them and we hope that when people watch the film that they can at least um, have a similar experience of walking away and, and reflecting on um, on their own kind of you know, thoughts that they, and, and expectations that they have for people around them. Yeah, and I can add like a specific example. So when we first started working with Mel, and we've talked about this with her, um, we, we've, we sort of struggled to have an interview where it sort of went to like a deeper place where she would share what she was feeling. And I think it was initially Matt and I were wondering if we wouldn't be able to go to those deeper places with Mel. Um, and it was only after we had created an environment where she felt comfortable and we sort of got to know her more that she opened up and we realized um, even though we had maybe had lower expectations for Mel, um, she kind of, um, she surprised us and exceeded those and we had to sort of realize those low expectations were sort of stereotypes that we were bringing like um, that were keeping us from getting to like really know her. Um, so that experience that we had through making the film, we hope when people watch it, they might have that similar experience of getting to know Mel more deeply through the process of the film. Thank you. So out of so many subjects, uh, how, how did you choose these three amazing athletes? Uh, well, we were, we were fortunate to be linked up with Trent via uh, some outreach to Special Olympics North America, the organization, um, and he was kind of near the top of a list of people that they felt like would really love to engage in the way that we wanted to, in a, in a really meaningful, and, and you know, we were asking a lot, we wanted to spend a lot of time with them and really be a part of their personal space, so um, we, we, I think Ned went out first and met Trent and went to yeah. his yoga class and was like... Yeah, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, because for, for something like the Verite doc that we wanted to make, it, as you can see in the film, like we're kind of riding along with them. We're, we're like not following them like into the bathroom, but like the, the thing we're hoping to do is like see intimate moments. So early on in the process when Trent was getting ready to go to Abu Dhabi, um, we wanted to film him getting re ready to go in his bedroom and he wasn't comfortable with that. And so we had to sort of go through a process of helping him understand how we were going to use the footage and giving him some control over that footage. And after that, he opened up um, more with us. So like finding somebody who's willing to take risks, like Trent said in the Q&A, um, is the only way you can make a film like we've made. Like, we can point the cameras and do like a whole bunch of things really well, but unless the person who's working with us as the subject of the film is willing to like share and be vulnerable, like it just doesn't happen. So um, seeing that in Trent, like early on, getting to know him, I think we were like, this is the this is a person we could make a film with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you talked about how you use people with disabilities to make this film portray the story. Can you tell us more about that? Um, oh, do you mean like our, our advisors? Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the collaborative yeah. effort? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, um, I mean, we did more of it about halfway through the process because we realized that we hadn't done enough of it. We hadn't gotten enough feedback and we weren't challenging, like we were talking about before, our, our preconceived ideas of, of um, who these people are and what are you know who we are and also you know what the film was and could be um, and so we we um, we reflected for a bit when we were looking at an old cut of the film and realized that we really needed help um, and we, we assembled a, a team of advisors to help collaborate around the film and um, watch edits and and give us uh, really helpful feedback on how 
everything, but particularly how um, the stories were being portrayed and and helping us um, avoid any any stereotypes and storytelling around people with disabilities. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about like one of the more nerve wracking. Uh, calls we had or from that I could say I had in this process was um, meeting this uh, disability activist named Judy Human for the first time um, and if you don't know or your viewers don't know Judy Human um, she is this incredible um, badass disability activist um, there's a film Crip Camp um, and she's featured very prominently in it she shut down lower Manhattan with a group of activists in wheelchairs she took over a federal building um, but we were like approaching her to ask if she would help us with the film and we knew or we were I was worried like if she didn't feel we were doing it the right way she was going to tell us and basically like tell us to peace out you know like leave her alone kind of um but she listened to us and when we were sort of done explaining our process she was like oh yeah it's like partnership you're working in partnership with your subjects so um yeah that's what I would say like to simplify it, it's like working in partnership uh, with the people that are in the film and giving them some control um, over the decision-making process um, so that they can actually share in it. And our last one would be, if, we, if you could give us a homework assignment, what would it be? Oh gosh. <laughs> like about anything? Yeah, about anything, anything related to the movie or just by the rest? Hmm. Never had so much power before. <laughs> um, do we each get to give you one? Was that to be? Okay, good. Because I, I think I have an you have idea. You one? Maybe well, you'll inspire me. I, I'm, I'm going to go off of what I just sit, shared, which is if you guys haven't seen the film Crip Camp, you should watch that film um, and learn a little bit more about the people that are in that movie because they're uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, I don't know, just, just learn to, you know, ask questions and never be afraid to say I don't know or I'm, 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 uh, you're, that you're learning something. And it's something that I think we learn to do a little bit more, do each day of our, our jobs as documentary filmmakers is um, learning about the world around you and always having humility and um, the confidence to say, oh, I don't actually know how to do this or I need to learn more about this so that I'm informed and um, yeah, try to try to take that forward in other ways in life. Maybe I don't know. That's pretty heady. Also, we watch should have camp. given them the <laughs> assignment of making going to going to Los Angeles and selling this film to yeah, one yeah, of the major yeah, distributors. Can you, so can you guys do that? Yeah, that's and we yeah, that's actually one. We're gonna just give that yeah, to you. Okay, if, <laughs> ignore what we said. Yeah. Just cut that out. Just, no, I, I I actually I I was in the beginning I had like a couple of different feelings about when I was doing research, but when I actually saw this movie, I was actually really inspired and I wanted to learn more about this. Yeah, and I'll, I'll definitely uh, look into the movie. So what was it again? Crip Camp. Crip Camp. Crip Camp. Yeah, yeah it's on Netflix. Yeah, it's a great film. Sure. Great. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you both. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.